going on guys shot here in today's video we are back on gta online i have not made a gta video in quite a while but i am back on it because honestly gta is what made my channel and call of duty is pretty much just a fun game but you know it gets old as well so we are back on gta online and in today's video we're going to be talking about the fact that rockstar is actually taking down modders and they're working pretty hard at it this time so pretty much i'm pretty sure if you guys like follow all the other big gta youtubers you've already heard about this but i figured i'd give my own opinion on it because as you guys do know i have modded gta online in the past and pretty much if you guys don't know what happened rockstar actually did send out like cease and desist letters which pretty much means that rockstar is telling modders and mod menu creators basically like to fuck off so most of these mod menus that actually did get taken down did put on their websites a post that did say, after discussions with Take-Two Interactive, we are immediately seizing all maintenance, development, and distribution of our cheap menu services. We will also be donating our proceeds to a charity designed by Take-Two. We apologize for any and all problems our software has caused to the GTA Online community. Now obviously this is something that Take-Two made them post because every mod menu got taken down, even like way back then, like months ago when I believe it was Force and Menu that they got taken down, they put the same exact thing. So I'm pretty sure that Take-Two just tells them like copy paste this and put it on your website and then you have to do all that. But yeah, pretty much Take-Two is actually working hard to take down these mod menu creators and just mod menus in general to make GTA Online better. Now of course at the end of the day, mod menus are not going to go anywhere like I believe one of the mod menus a long time ago got taken down and then they just came back with another name and now they got taken down again. But like mod menu creators really don't care like in my opinion. I know there was one mod menu that got taken down like a week ago, came back like two days after it got taken down, and then it got taken down again I believe, so I don't know, maybe Rockstar did end up like actually, or Take-Two, whatever it is, maybe they actually did end up like taking action because they came back, but you never know, like they just are working hard to create GT Online or try to make it way safer than it already is, and it really isn't, or not on PC at least, because of course console players don't have to worry about this unless you're on the last gen consoles, but Current gen don't really have to worry about cheaters or anything for a while until they start like releasing jailbreaks for PS4 or jailbreaks for Xbox, whatever it's called for Xbox, I don't know, JTAX, RGH, I don't know what it was called. But yeah, like console players don't really have to worry about it as much as PC players because PC players like PC is extremely easy to cheat and you could pretty much tell because every game on PC that's like pretty big, so like Call of Duty, GTA 5, um, other games I can't think of off the top of my head. They all have cheats, you know, they all have mods, they have ways of cheating online, cheating in the game in general. So mod menus for PC are just never going to go away. There's probably going to be mod menus that are still out there, I'm sure there are, because it's PC. But yeah, like, me personally, I think it does suck because all the mod menus that I did own are pretty much done for, because, like, Take-Two is working hard at it, pretty much. And, I don't know, like, I don't really care about them taking them down like yeah it does suck a lot i mean i don't really care because of course at the end of the day we are cheating you know we're using mods for money we're using mods for like i don't know ranking up whatever you want to use your mods for but then of course there are like people like me who will just mess around with friends you know i, I would spawn like 20 cop cars and play cops and robbers with my friends just do like a ton of dumb things like that i would never really blow up lobbies and if i did it's probably because like there was another cheater and I started messing with him so besides that like I never really messed around with people too much unless it was just like harmless trolling pretty much messing around with their cards or something but like at the end of the day it is modding so I guess I do understand why take two actually did take action on mod menus and of course I doubt that they're gonna stop anytime soon especially because Rockstar I believe or t Rockstar or take two did announce that like GTA Online updates are still going to be happening and of course I'm going to be providing videos for all the updates that do come out in the future. But yeah, they did announce that they are still going to be updating GTA Online so of course they're not going to be wanting cheaters on their game until the game is like completely dead kind of like GTA 4. And I believe like a couple months ago as well they freaking like stopped most of the mods on GTA 4 so yeah it's pretty freaking bad but yeah let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. If you were a modder do you still have your mod menu? If so you should totally tell me what mod menu you got. No, I'm just playing. I don't even want to waste money anymore. I freaking lost like $100 on mod menus because Take-Two took everything down. But yeah, if you guys are a modder, let me know if your mod menu was actually taken down or if you still have your mod menu working. And if you aren't a modder, are you excited about this change that like you might be seeing less modders or did you find them fun? Because of course there were those asshole modders that would just blow everyone up or take people's ranks, rank them up to level 8000 and pretty much like you're going to be like people are going to claim you're a cheater because of your rank and stuff. 
Did you like modders? Did you not like modders? Let me know your bad experiences with modders and your good experiences, things like that. And yeah, let me know if you guys do want to see some more GTA 5 videos. Like I did say, this is what made my channel the size it is, and I don't feel like stopping GTA 5 anytime soon. Once Red Dead Redemption 2 does come out, probably not going to play it because I don't feel like getting a console just to play it, make videos on it. But if it does come out on PC in the future, I will be getting that for sure. And if there's ever mods on story mode or something that like are interesting, maybe we can do something like that. We'll see what happens when it does come out, or if it does come out for PC. But yeah, it's going to be pretty much it. If you guys are hyped for me to return to GTA 5, because expect more videos from me for GTA 5 as well, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, it's going to be pretty much it. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.